Hello everyone, Blast me again with another video with up-to-date information on gear, stats, and what I'm striving to do with the 05 Dog Witch Doctor. I will also be covering some of the questions and feedback I've gotten from my other videos and forums, down to what legacy gear I was using as a Zero Dog Witch Doctor, to all my insights prior to Reaper of Souls release. But before we start this video, I would like to give a shout out to my old crew, and they're the reasons to why I became a Zero Dog Witch Doctor in the first place. And those people are Lucidity, aka Sonic Fear, Squeak, Mordre, Wizard, who changed his n name to uh, Zelda, Sleazy, Weary Dragon, Beer Man, and E to the X. Thanks, guys. Okay, so let's start about what gear I'm using, why, and what I am overally aiming for as of right now. Let's start with my shoulders. Shol my shoulders aren't anything nice or any of that. And they're vile wards. I'm aiming for the profane pauldrons because they have like five to six max pickup yard radius. And I saw a beast pair roll that and the extra health globes affix. For all secondary stats on my gear, I'm optimally aiming for pickup radius and anything extra to health globes. That's it. Point blank a period for all secondaries. I have this awesome trifecta Julia's cameo with 730 int, 5 attack speed, 95 crit hit damage and 9.5 crit hit chance. Just some regular strong arm bracers that I b used for like critical hit chance and good stats. I'd want to know if Lacuni Prowlers can still roll beast because if they can, that's what I was using before and that's what I'm striving to do now. Trifecta gloves, uh, mine aren't anything special again, they're rare, and I'm aiming to get into the Helltooth or Jade Master 2 set, I'm stretching to hit the 2 set 500 intelligence bonus through pants and gloves, but before I do that I need Trifecta gloves, and way better <laughs> pants than these, because I am not slapping these on. This trifecta puzzle ring. I could be using any other trifecta ring right now, but this is the best one I found that has 491 in and the trifecta. And it's got really good stats, as you can see. Ice climbers. Ice climbers. I love these things. These ice climbers, with this Countess Julius cameo, equals you don't have to worry about anything. Anything, anything. As you, as a zero dogger, if you've ever messed around with this, you know, frozen is your bane, and it kills you no matter what. This allows you to get past all that, so I'm definitely using them. The awesome Anasazi's Edge, which I still haven't found a better one, and a Witching Hour. This Witching Hour is pretty beast. 497 int, 469 vitality. AS5, critical hit damage 50, and all my secondaries, like I said, I want pickup radius and extra to uh, pots and health globes. Also, I'm going to cover in a few seconds why I use the Witching Hour over this belt right here, the Razor Strop, which I've been getting a lot of feedback from everyone saying I should be using or they would l like to see it in use, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but before we get into that. Now let's go through my legacy gear and what I was, what I'm using, or what I was using rather, and how I go to aiming about uh, doing what I'm doing right now, and how I structure it, and how I know how to structure it. 
and all that good stuff. Oh, I left out my Tower Rush's chest piece. I'm a dope. This is what else I'm using. I um, don't want really anything else. Attack speed is awesome with that 100 all res, and it rolled off the health globes and potions secondary fix so I can be anywhere happy. Yes, I did go hop on a w my wizard, and yes, I farmed this thing out. I wanted this piece. This thing is crucial, and you'll see why. Legacy gear. As you can see, there's my prior Tarrosh's chest piece. And it has perfect attack speed, all nice stats, the double vit roll. It's just a really good item I was using that I was uh, playing around with. This is the trifecta gloves I was messing around with. I miss these types of item mans, these perfect six property items. I wish these could still roll in game, but they don't. This beastly sword. Thank you again, E to the X. This beastly sword. <laughs> as you can see, what I was doing, I wasn't even using intelligence as a main stat on my weapon. I just went for the perfect lifesteal, went for a crit more critical hit damage, and went for attack speed and black damage. And with a critical hit damage gem inside. Ina's pants. Attack speed everywhere, guys. Attack speed everywhere. <laughs> My older witching hour. And my crafted amulet. I love this thing. Now these aren't the exact Zuni boots that I was using. I was stayed in the Zuni 2 set as opposed to the Zuni 3 set because surviving wasn't my issue back then. Damage was and will always be this build's issue. So I stayed in the Zuni 2 set. These aren't the exact ones, but they are a very nice pair. Very nice pair. Thank you again, Weary. Uh, the only difference is they had way higher vitality. I'm I'm sure of that, and they had the health globes they fix on the secondary. And I stayed in the Zuni 2 set by using a Zuni Pox, but instead of having the critical hit ch chance there, I used vitality and max attack speed. It had max attack speed. That's one thing I always ask for <laughs> when it comes to this build. <laughs> Thank you again, Beer Man. <laughs> Now one thing everyone always has to remember about the Witch Doctor class that it's always been critical hit chance to critical hit damage ratio like that's what it's always relied on to translate to optimal DPS everyone knows that so if you weren't using a, a green gem in your weapon way back when and you were one of those people that used the red gem that definitely wasn't the way to go. If you were, your critical hit chance to critical hit damage ratio was totally messed up. And it was the reason why you were swapping out uh, for the master for provoke the pack. And that means you were dying a lot and you weren't doing it efficiently. The critical hit chance to critical hit damage ratio I try to upkeep is 10% crit hit chance to 100% critical hit damage ratio. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'll show you my stats all the way in a bit. Now let's get back to this uh, razor strop that everyone favors. Now this thing, I like this thing, I do. It's ridiculous. I love it when my friends have this equipped. There's explosions everywhere. but. For me, it's a little different. When you're the user and using zero dogs, let's equip this thing real fast. As you can see, since of Reaper of Souls, some of these globes really don't spawn near you, so you can automatically get them, which means you would have to be moving in order to get them, which means you're not doing as dam much damage by attacking 
Uh, oh, let me just show you. Let's just hop to a map. Let's get some health globes out here. They're stunned. They're not doing anything. Let's grab them. There's some two high 2.6 million, 3 million crits. And these are just some of the numbers with the Razor drop equipped and all my gear and what I'm doing right now. Let's uh, go back to town. Equip the witching hour. And go back. Those are my numbers. However, and the, keep in mind that the switching hour also helps me maintain my critical hit damage to critical hit chance ratio that I'm trying to maintain, and the extra attack speed is a great bonus. The Razor Shop really shines when your party members have them, because you're standing there and you're keeping everything stunned, and they're moving around doing whatever they're doing, and they're doing a ridiculous amount of DPS. Their weapon damage is way higher than whatever zero dogs can be. Let's go into my overall stats now with all the gear that I've acquired at the moment. Let's see. These are all my idle stats as you can see them. My damage, my toughness, my healing, my intelligence, my vitality. My overall vit pool is 453,740. We have critical hit chance, critical hit damage, area damage, I love this, this one right here, area damage, it's so awesome. Armor, and all my all is idling. This is just all my idling stuff. So let's get amped up, and I will show you exactly where I'm running and where I stand now. <laughs> 